three, two, one. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel, there's Chelsea. Ow. Tonight is pyjama and movie night Ay -yo, with Pablo. Mayo, mayo, wayo. Chelsea is very sunburned today because she was off work and she decided to sit in the sun and you can't really see in this light but we'll try and capture it. And she's naturally ginger. Spoiler. <sighs> this is with sun cream as well though guys, be safe. But before we can have a pyjama movie night we need to get being tired. So we'll take for a quick walk then we'll get pyjamaed up and then we'll watch a movie. Because Chelsea kindly bought me some new pyjamas today which are just there. So the movie we're going to watch might be a bit of a touchy subject for some. This is the greatest show. Whoa, 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 whoa. So if you did see last Sunday's video, I am apologizing again now. I tried something new, it didn't work, fine, we'll move on. And if you haven't seen that video, you're probably not gonna, because it probably won't be on my channel anymore. Hi! Hello. Do you want to go for a walk? Do you want to go for a walk? <gasps> Should we go for a walk? Come on, put it through. Hey, good boy. <laughs> Clip. You got a lead? No. Get a lead. House is a mess. I know, bloody hell. I'm gonna get you. <laughs> Come on. You're not very fast tonight. Hi. Here we got the mood lighting. TV's off. Do you want to see dinner? Do you want dinner? We'll go on in. Wait. 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 Get then. Good boy. So as you can see, we are back in the ceramic bowl because he just was not eating out of that other bowl. He kept tipping it over to get the food on the floor. So, we're back in the ceramic bowl, we're now cleaning his face. Chelsea's just getting a shower now, she's putting her pyjamas on. I'm getting a shower, now I put my pyjamas on. And then we'll put Pablo's pyjamas on. And then we'll get settled for a movie night. And then let us know in the comments of this video what you think of Pablo's pyjamas, because I think that they're cute. They are Christmas pyjamas because we couldn't actually find any normal pyjamas. Because all they do is cool jackets now in the shops, isn't it? They don't do pyjamas. Mommy's in, Jimmy's. Taking selfies again. Daddy's in his new jammies and being still asleep. Being still asleep. Being still. Should we jimmies on? Should we get jimmies on? <gasps> Should we get jimmies on? Yeah. Three, two, one. Hiya, Pablo. In your jimmies. Good boy. Look at little tail sticks at the end. Wee. Go up with mommy. He's got his snacks. We need a blanket. My knee hurts. So Chelsea's sunburnt one knee. Not the other one. Not the other one. <gasps> Just one. What you doing, fella? Are you ready for your pyjama night? Pyjama night film night. Do you want to film? Ian Pablo, are you ready for your snacks? You ready for movie night? Movie night, movie night. This one's mommy's snacks. Wow, are you getting treated? They're gluten free.
Five minutes he lasted. What are you doing down there? Why have you left us? Are you coming back or what? Beside? Sleepy bean. We had to deep pajama room because it was getting too hot. <laughs> like a sweaty sausage. <laughs> Little sweaty sausage. Yeah, and Pablo's absolutely all moved out. But yeah, guys, I would highly recommend The Greatest Showman to absolutely anyone. Now, you may or may not know, but I am a huge Marvel fan. Like, proper geek fanboy Marvel fan. Like, just spent £200 on Infinity War toys, kind of Marvel. Fan. Anyways, I've never really recommended a film to anyone, even New Infinity War. I just tend not to. Now, this film genuinely is possibly one of the best films just ever. Like, it should go down like the all time greatest films, like Titanic, like with them kind of films. But I think that quote at the end actually like really got to me in the terms of it was along the lines of the noblest art is that of making others happy. But yeah, it was like a sudden realization of. Like, we are here to entertain you guys, you know, make you guys happy. But when you say you've been having a bad day and that we've cheered you up, you know, I don't know how bad your day is, I don't know what circumstances you're in. I hate this word, but for me to be influencing people like that and then to kind of just ignore the path that I've took to this point and go and do something else, it's very, not bad, but like, it's just, I feel like maybe I've let you guys down by doing this sort of things and I don't know, it is what it is. It's happened. And we're moving on. But I am determined now to bring you guys the best of content. I honestly, I read every single one of your comments. I maybe don't reply to them all, but I do read through them all. Eventually, I get around to doing them every couple of days. So when you leave your feedback, I am reading, I am listening, I'm taking it all in. And that video got probably the most negative feedback I've seen across my whole channel on just one video. It really didn't go down well. It was a love or hate. Now, I don't want my content to be a love or hate. I want my content to be overall general love big stretch but yeah i hope you guys did enjoy this video if you did then please do drop a like if you haven't seen the greatest showman already then i highly recommend it and this is probably the only film i will ever recommend to you guys it's just a very relatable feel-good film and as always people peace out